My guest is a renowned Ugandan gospel artist, an award-winning songwriter, a vocalist, a philanthropist, a businessman, a father and a husband. He wears many other hats, which of course we'll get to know about. Romeo Odong, welcome my brother. Thank you, my brother. Glad to be here. Okay. And it's my very first time in Calgary, yeah. in Canada, in North America generally. Okay. It's really an absolute honor to even be able to be hosted by you. I know you've been rubbing shoulders with so many people. Yes. So I really glorify God for this opportunity that I share my life and my testimony of great things that he's done through me and within me uh, and within my family and in my story. And I believe the sky is just a foundation. Mm -hmm. Lots of things are just coming and great things are yet to come. Okay. Yeah. Um, what has been your biggest wow moment since you got to Canada? The cosmopolitan nature of the country. Okay. Uh, the fact that it's such a a mix up of so many different people from all over the world yeah. like everybody feels like we belong everybody feels like we're part and parcel like they look at you and nobody's bothered okay. like in other countries yeah as uh, it's it's the wow moment because i thought you would come here and straight away mm -hmm. A Luo would just look a Luo. Ugandan yeah. would look a Ugandan. No. Yeah. Everybody looks like they belong. Yeah. What if the Prime Minister of Canada, you having talked so nice about the country now, offers you citizenship? Would you stay? For now, my <laughs> stay, no. Okay. I would decline the, the opportunity to stay okay. because I'm not ready. I, I have my family back home, a very young family. Yeah. I uh, would be, I believe the future is still bright. Okay. And this would be if there is a place yeah. that I would love and want to stay and live in outside mm -hmm. Uganda, mm -hmm. yes. outside Africa. Yes. I think Canada is top of the list. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so you've, you've been to Australia. Yes. Correct me if I'm yes. wrong. You've been to Europe. Yes. And now internationally for the third time you're doing a year long tour of Canada. Yes. Why those specific countries? Oh, has it always been in your dream that you'd come here? Uh, if you have listened to my song uh, Identity, yes. I started with my hope that God will use me in Africa, yeah. uh, in Australia, yeah. in America, in yeah. Asia. Everywhere. Everywhere. And mm. so uh, Matthew 28 yes. says, go make disciples of all nations. Yes. And so I believe Canada is no exception. It's one of the nations. I would love to go as far as God will lead me. So I'll digress a little bit and go much into your music. Okay. Because you're a big name in terms of music in Thank Uganda you. and Africa. Thank you. And now the world. Thank you. People out there will get to know about you. Thank you. Hopefully through this podcast, those who don't know, they'll get to know you. Last year, I think, if I'm if I'm correct, yeah. you did win two awards in the Victoria Gospel Academy Awards in yes. Kampala. Big awards, yes. Yes, Songwriter of the Year yeah. and the Northern Gospel Artist, Artist of, of the, the year. year. Yeah. What was the experience like for you? Uh, it's been just an, an encouragement. Yes. For me and being recognized, it's it's a great feeling. I come from a very musical community, okay. Uh, especially the northern part of the region, yeah. where we have the biggest number of local traditional dance mm -hmm. as a Choli people. Yes, over twenty six of them. Yeah, and so we literally dance to everything. Yeah, and everybody has something to offer musically. Okay, and so to stand out and be recognized for such a time as this, I don't take it for granted. It's a beautiful feeling. Yeah, and it's something that I believe is well deserved. Yeah, yeah. The Trace Awards are happening today in Kigali, BK Arena, uh, Rwanda. Yes, yes. Are you aware of that? Yes, I'm aware. Okay. Um, yes. There are gospel artists in, in the category for best gospel artists. Uh, folks like Benjamin Dube from South Africa. Yeah. Janet Otieno from Kenya. Yeah. K.S. Bloom from Ivory Coast. Yeah. Levickson from Uganda, yes, from your Uganda, contemporary. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Moses Bliss from Nigeria. Yeah. Did you submit any songs for these awards this year? I did not submit any song for okay. these awards of this year. Okay. And uh, I have really been working on songs after songs after songs. Okay. And I believe, yes, I wish them all the best. I wish my brother Leviction that please 
do us the favor, bring it back home, and okay. we'll really, really be very happy as people from the part of Africa, yeah. from the eastern part of Africa. Okay, so the trace platform is something that you look forward to performing yes. someday? Yes, it's a dream. Okay, one of the biggest songs yeah. out of Uganda and out of Africa, Yeah. Um, this is from my childhood at the time I remember, yeah. was Wipolo. Yes. Pastor Jojo Kudi. Yes. It was everywhere. Call it the clubs, call yes. it the, the, the gospel stations. And he did amazing that year. 2003, he was the best in East Africa yes. in the Kora Awards in South Africa. Yes. You are almost following in his footsteps. Thank you. Folks like that who have been in front of you before and from your childhood, who are the musicians that really inspired you to do what you're doing? I used to listen to a lot of Lucky Dube songs. Okay. Being, I think, identified mostly with his songs. Okay. He wasn't uh, particularly a gospel artist. Okay. He was uh, an African reggae artist. Yes. From South Africa. Yes. And his music uh, spoke to my heart. Okay. The ease with which he sang. Yes. And the, the themes that he sang about, they were real life experiences and stories. Yes. It might not be directly him, but they were transformative in nature. Yes. And so I started as a secular music and I started doing with reggae music. Yes. Uh, Okudi is one person who also gave me a lot of inspiration. Yes. We have never met. Yes. I am of the view that one day we will also meet. Okay. He comes from the East and I heard he lives in America right now as we okay. speak. Yes. The fact that Luo music could go beyond just the borders of the Luo confines yes. was really a best setter. Okay. I listened a lot to the late Oriema Joffrey. Yes, big artist. He too. was a very big artist to us. Yeah. And coming from where I come from, Yes. my own uh, blood yes. and uh, spoke the same language though he spoke many other languages yes. was a great inspiration yeah. and the fact that he lived abroad and yet held the flag of the Luo people high yes. was something that really was very inspiring so this is not to say they're the only ones yes. I listen to many other genres of music okay. from the Caribbean from okay. all over the world okay. and uh, I follow so many people and in one way or the other so many people Mm. inspired me okay so folks like oriema yes a lucky dube yes beautiful beautiful stories and may god rest their souls amen. in eternal peace amen uh one particular song prisoner lucky yes. dube yes i think you may know the lyrics more than me i asked the policeman and said how much must i pay for my Twice. freedom yes right yes what particular things from lucky dube's uh, lyrics or songs inspired your singing and what aspects of the singing did it particularly inspire? He was a great vocalist. Okay. And he placed his um, lyrics and themes very clearly. Yes. He also was so detailed yeah. when it came to the instrumental bit of putting his lyrics and the instruments together. Yeah, the arrangements. The, the arrangements yes. and the structuring. Yes. They were all so beautiful. Okay. And then it's the, the flexibility of not just doing one kind of reggae yes and also doing rasta kwasha yes and other different kind of music okay that he did the flexibility the diverse nature of his ability okay. and then the vocal excellence the ability yeah. to hit notes okay after notes after notes and yeah. then the setup of working with a team that you'll see him over and over and over that that really he valued relationship yes and families okay. and then he was a married man yes a, a, as much as yes he yeah. did the music yeah but there was another human being mm -hmm. he was a beautiful human being just yeah. beyond the gift of just of the music. talent of music okay Yes. One of your songs, Polo Yesu Olara, yes. which is the very first ones you did in the yes. past. The particular dancing style in it. Yes. I see a lot of one comedian from Northern Uganda, 2P, uh, Wekanyomi, those songs. Yes. Uh, even the dancing, the background singers in your music. Yeah. This is my perception. Yeah. Someone like 2P. Yeah. Because in, in Polo Yesu Olara, I thought there's a little aspect of comedy in it. Music, uh, to be complete, uh, to me, I still believe in what we learned in school right okay. from primary. Okay. Music 
drama and dance. Okay. There is the drama bit of music. Yes. Then there is the dance choreography bit of music, mm-hmm. and then there is the music itself. Oh, okay. So once you see some comedy, yeah, then it means I'm yeah I'm trying as much as possible to not let my teachers down okay. because they say this MDD music drama yes. and dance. <laughs> okay. Yes. Yeah. Um. So I guess to become a better musician, you need to go to school for it. Yes. From South Sudan, we had a traditional uh, musician yeah. called Jambo Kwen. Yes. Didn't go to school. I do play the adungu myself a little yeah. bit. Wow. Those little boys who are out there and think you know because I play this like I'm so good because yeah. I play this guitar so good. What would you tell them? Why is going to school important so that they learn? First of all, going to school is about perspective change okay. and broadening uh, your, your 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 thought patterns. Okay. And I think you will literally think deeper, mm-hmm. and uh, it's intellectually very empowering. Okay. Because yes, the talent would be there. Yes. But if you add value, because yes. there's another person, there's the character building, yes. which happens also at, at, at the institutions that we where we go to for trainings okay. you don't just go to study music yes. you you in schools you learn to stay and share with each other okay. you learn to listen more okay. and then through that yeah. those experiences are also opportunities for you yeah. so the maturity that you will exude yeah. would be bigger than for a person who had just lived in a basement or in a studio yeah. just like that yeah. you know That's that's basically what I think would be good for a person like uh, who has the talent. Yeah. Because the talent is one thing, yeah. but character is another. Okay. Yeah. yeah. That's that's true. Um. Yeah. So so the name Romeo Odong. Yes. Is that the name on your passport? Yes, Romeo Wilbert Odong. Okay. Yeah. Uh, tell us more about your background. Where were you born? What kind of family you came from? Yes. Yes. I was born in northern Uganda. Okay. Lacho, uh, Saint Mary's. Hospital Lacho. Yes. I was born to one Mr. Okelo, late Okelo Benson. May his soul rest in peace. Amen. And uh, my mom, Mrs. Okelo Helen Molly. Yes. By default, yes. now I am a firstborn because the firstborn passed on before I was born. Oh, sorry. Secondborn passed on before I was born. Wow. I was born as a thirdborn. I refused to die. And I gave hope to my parents. God is good. And so. I believe God has had a purpose and a plan yeah. to make me fast by default. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Come from a uh, family, uh, let me say polygamous background. Okay. Where Muse was a very generous man. He okay. had so many other wives okay. and so many other children. So I have many brothers and many sisters okay. that I can't even count okay. because some I never met personally. Oh, okay. So I uh, am speaking to you, I should be very careful. <laughs> you might be I my might brother, brother and so you come to disturb us on land issues. Okay. That where is my portion? Muse has gone. Okay. Yes. So okay. that's the kind of family I grew up in. Yes. And you know what what comes with polygamous uh, family? Mm-hmm. Lots of competition from your mothers. Okay. And the children also want to compete for attention and affection mm-hmm. from your father. Mm-hmm. And uh, people want to place themselves as they have the best candidates for yeah. for inheritance and stuff star, like yeah. that. So yeah. uh, a little bit about me. Okay. Yeah. What was your childhood like? My childhood was, uh, I think, a lot of movements okay. uh, and from the add, village because of the war. Yeah, you grew up during the Konya War. Yes, the, all, almost, the LRA. All of us were there. I was in the. Yes. I was west of you in West Nile. Wow. Yeah, in the refugee camps over there. And But, my parents met from West Nile. My okay. father was studying in uh, Saint Joseph Sombachi. Oh wow. And my mom was studying in Idiofe Girls. Okay. And uh, there is a Rua Hill yes. where they met from. So okay. botanically, I owe a lot of explanations. Yeah. And I owe a lot of gratitude to Arua and West Nile. Okay. Because yeah. probably they would have never met. Oh yeah. If there was no Arua, <laughs> you know, to join them, just like if there was no Canada, probably yes. we would have never met. We never. So made. botanically, I say I am a child of the West Nile. Yeah, yeah. It's good. Uh, my people in in here in South Sudan, they yeah. say only mountains cannot meet. Exactly. If it's ordained, it will happen. It's the same saying in Acholi land. Yes. Okay. Same. Yeah, same which meaning? means on yes, same meaning. Okay. Translation. Okay. Um. So the the aspect of polygamy, I'll, I'll dig a little bit deep into that. Okay. In South Sudan again, yeah. we have a bird, right? Yeah. And the bird is male bird very brilliant looking very colorful long tail and all that 
It always gets followed around by a Ojui. heavy yeah. called Ojui. Ojui, yes, yeah, actually. many uh, ladybirds yeah. and all that. Yeah. Was your dad like that, or what? What was uh, your dad's character? He was a medical doctor. He was a laboratory technician, okay. and he was a teacher before that. Yes. And if you've seen me, you've seen my late father. Okay. And uh, I think uh, one of the things, like I told you, yes. when I ask him why. Yes. He abandoned most of us. He didn't pay our fees. He didn't take good care of us. Mm. And why all these so many women? Yes. Then uh, the fact that his first love, my mom, gave him a first son. Yes. Ten months later, mm -hmm. the later Joe refused to breastfeed. Mm -hmm. One month later, he passed on. Mm -hmm. And then uh, the late Okello, mm -hmm. who shared a name with my father, and was a really, they said he was a real hunk. Mm -hmm. um, 11 months later, he refused mm -hmm. to breastfeed. Yes. One month later, he died. Mm -hmm. And then I was born. Okay. Now, within the two years, I mean the two births yes. that were frustrating, his mm -hmm. friends advised him and said, you can't lay all your eggs in one basket. Mm -hmm. So you need to also have children out. And that's how he began. Oh. And once he began, yes. there was no stopping. Okay. okay. So I believe that was it. Okay. Yeah. Oh. It's an African culture sometimes, you know, people go down that route. Yeah. But um, so are you polygamous so or you decided, no, for me, I just need one? I am married to a woman, mm -hmm. one woman mm -hmm. who was born naturally a woman. Okay. And God has blessed us with three adorable children. Okay. And yes, we are wedded. Okay. And I am not intending to go polygamous. Okay. I have seen the minuses from that. Yes. And I believe it's one way all the way. Yeah. And uh, all I need is more children. Yeah. Yeah. Being an old guy in the music business. Yes, and, sir. and being at your status. These, these, these little girls will always fly around. Like they want to go, you know, where the light is. Yeah. How do you then stay faithful to your wife? It is character. Okay. It's a choice that I made. Yes. And every day there is something I survive. Every every day there's a temptation I deal with. Yes. And it's both ways. I, I believe even my wife, there are people who wonder why her and why would this artist set settle with you? Okay. So it's about character. And then uh, this has been shaped by my faith. Yes. Which has also helped me. Okay. And I believe God has just stood there for me. Yeah. And really made it a little easier to deal with this situation. Okay. Yeah. Is is your wife a private person? She doesn't like the limelight? She's or? not the person of the limelight. Okay. I don't know why, but we personally get attracted to <laughs> people who exude opposite, you know, okay. characters and personalities. Okay. And so she's not a person of the forefront. Okay. Yeah. She's yeah. very, always doing things at the background. Okay. Yeah. Uh, how about your children? Yeah. Um, how, how old are they? Uh, 13 year old, my firstborn, okay. the girl, uh, that's uh, Spacey. Yes. Gabriel, the second born, is 11 and Chacha is 7. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Oh, wow. Wonderful yeah. family. Thank you. Yeah. And so two boys, one girl. Okay. And I have one adopted girl. Yeah. I'm um, still supposed to finish uh, with the documentation. Yes. To be able to freely say that's my daughter. Okay. Uh, she's called Lamar Vivian. Lamar Vivian. Uh, Lamar Vivian. Or okay. Mara. You can okay. call her Mara. Okay. Yeah. Her okay. mom passed on. Yes. And uh, we don't know who her father is. Yes. So we took her in. Oh, that's wonderful. Yeah. That's, that's really good of you. Yeah. I'll go back a little bit. Yeah. Um, and recently, Professor Tabando Leong, I believe you know him, he speaks fluent actually. He, he was in Kenya yeah. in an event. I think Raila, I believe, was getting crowned. Yeah. And he spoke the Acholi language very clearly to the Luo, the brothers in Kenya. Mm. Everybody understood. I, 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 the only word I picked is Apoyo, forgive me. Yeah. Um, and then there's one thing he mentioned. He said the Acholis are not only in one country, Ethiopia, South Sudan, Kenya, Uganda, even the Democratic Republic of oh, Congo. Yes. I one time listened to a conversation between two people yeah. who turned out to be West Africans and they were speaking. I absolutely thought these guys are actually from Northern Uganda. So Africans have spread so much. Yeah. And, and that also means culture is everywhere. Yeah. Now there's Africans in the diaspora. Yeah. You are here, your music is everywhere. Yeah. Is that a good thing? You, you, you think Africans should um, follow the, 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 the same? I believe yes. God is a God of beauty and diversity. Okay. It was very intentional yes. that he gave all these different uh, tribes, languages yes. and people 
and there's beauty in diversity. Yes. So I think it's it's a great thing to do life with other people. Okay. Life alone is hard. Yes. And so we learn a lot by going outside our comfort zones and meeting new people. Yes. And there are some cultures that you we, we can copy and learn from other people. Okay. I think it's a great thing. Okay. Yeah. The 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 luo in Kenya. Yes. A very the particular jaluo. the jaluo. Yes. Yeah. Uh, I went to school in Kisumu. Yeah. You and me, uh, let me say me, because yeah. you belong to the Luo Nation. Yeah. I am a simple person, I'll be driving a car. Yeah. A Luo doesn't drive a car. He yeah. drives a German machine, right? Wow, of course. A Luo is not a learned person just per se. He is an excellent, brilliant professor, engineer, doctor, somebody. <laughs> right? And yes. are they actually also yes. like that? I think... Um, they came from us. Okay. We're not very far from each other. Okay. Yes. Okay. So when we come to a function, yes, we are the function. Okay. Yes. Okay. Yes, we so, are the occasion. Okay. So yes. so uh, in 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 Kenya, yeah, there's it's not a producer. Let me say he's a sound engineer. Yeah. Le, Le Grand Ward Phoebe. Yeah. He he makes beautiful Ohangla music with so many artists, Musa Jakadala, you know, uh, name them. Yeah. And and then there's also beautiful music from the gospel artists. Yeah. Have you thought of doing a collab with the guys across the border? Very many times. Okay. I have um, thought of doing collabs with different people. Yes. And I believe when the time is right. Yes. And uh, our belief system is the same. Yes. I think yeah, as long as the song also can inspire can transform lives positively. Okay. Then I'm open to it. It's not just the excitement of doing music. Yes. But it must be transformative in nature. Yes. If it is entertaining still, yeah. Yeah. there must be a positive vibe to it. Yeah. Yeah. So South Sudanese should hopefully wait for our I'm telling Yuba you song I just Monday? can't wait. I okay. just can't wait. Okay. Yes. Um your song. Yeah. Uh your leng. Yes. Pili li li li. Yes. Your, your, your leng. leng, yes. What's the meaning? Pili li li your leng la gang mo perayai. Yo lengwaro kara kara. Now, pili lili is a description of smooth, clear. Oh, okay. Now, yo leng means my path, the path before me. Yes. My destiny. Yes. Is so clear. Yeah. That no barricade can stop me. Okay. No bad mouth yeah. can stop, can't stop me. me. No evil intention. Yeah. Can't can't stop, stop me. me. Yeah. It's. I come from a war-torn region, mm -hmm. and so. We lamented in so many songs, mm -hmm. and people hold on to pain. Mm -hmm. And yet, you ask yourself, out of all the death in East Africa, why did you survive a war of over 20 years? There must be. Come on, you. What, the bullets just dodged you. You mm -hmm. didn't dodge them. Yeah. Your path have been cleared before you were created and formed inside your mother's womb. Yes. So, what is it that your purpose is? Mm -hmm. God should show you, mm -hmm. so that you can achieve your full potential. Yeah. The song is a song of hope, okay. a song of sense of direction, yeah. a song of revival saying, you know what? Mm -hmm. Yes, no matter what we've gone through, yeah. you're laying. Yeah. No matter what you are going through, wherever you are, the road is clear. The road is clear. The fact that you're still breathing. Yes. The road is clear. Okay. Yeah. And, and that song was not posted under your name. A beautiful video, by the way. Yep. The choreography is really, really good. Yeah. And it, it just went viral out there. Yeah. I think right now it's like 2 million plus. 2.5 million po yeah. something. But it was not posted under your name. It was posted, I believe, Toll Tape. Yes, the video producer. The video producer's uh, YouTube channel yes. or on Facebook, I yes. think. Yeah. Why that? Was it a business decision to do that? It was not a business decision to do that. Yes. Uh, after doing the video before I posted it, yes. he already did it. He didn't even share the video with me first. I actually bumped into the video on Online. YouTube. Okay. Uh, we were doing the shots yes. and uh, we were still supposed to watch the video, yes. then decide how do I premiere. Okay. And so business wise, mm -hmm. I would say I was robbed okay. uh, by my producer okay. and that did not go well with me. Mm -hmm. And up to now, I even told him to take it down and I do my stuff. Mm -hmm. And uh, it didn't go according to my plans, but you yes. can't fight your songs going about telling everyone mm -hmm. oh this and this let's not watch my song yes. let's not do this because i had uh, did, uh, done everything shot the video went to places did what i needed to do yes and spent a lot of money okay but i believe god has a perfect plan like i said you link yes we'll see what to do with it 
Okay. Yeah. So to avoid that happening again, have you taken steps to make sure it doesn't happen again? The Uganda? first step that I took, I didn't want to go straight to a lawyer or yeah. to the uh, to the police. Yes. I talked to him, mm -hmm. but it seems everything I tell him falls into deaf ears. Okay. Being a Christian artist, a gospel artist, yes. people think they can take advantage of us. It's quite unfortunate that this really hurts when things like that happen. Yeah. Infringement on my on my craft, yes. on my creativity, yes. on what gift God has given me, mm -hmm. and I'm supposed to take care of my family yes. with it and also be able to touch lives. Yeah. And it has not gone according to how it was supposed to do. Yeah. That's what has happened to me. Yeah. So, so far, yeah. I've taken the first step to talk to him and he yeah. has refused to listen. And okay. okay. And, and hopefully now, because I notice your personal channel under your name is yeah. more vibrant yeah. and we are hoping it grows. And I hope if, if, you're, if you're watching and listening, yeah. please go and subscribe and like the page of Brother Odong. Romeo, yes. Romeo yes. is Odong Romeo, Romeo yes. on YouTube and Facebook. Yes, yes. Okay. Uh, so like and share yes. let's let's push him up there yeah. you know great music we must support our, our folks thank you the story of you becoming a gospel artist did not just start like that mm. your music journey started a long time ago and i believe you didn't start in the gospel no. tell us that story my music uh, i come from a musical family my mom was a music teacher yes uh, she taught at so many schools she won so many competitions yes. one of them that i remember vividly was uh, 1993 1994 where she won in the northern region and took her pupils or students from St. Joseph's Primary School to Kampala at the National Theatre. And so that was a, a good beginning for us to see that, you know what, this is important. Okay. I attended a training. She didn't teach me music. My mother did not teach me music. Yes. Actually, I again studied in Gulu Primary School. Okay under the tutorship of the head teacher who doubled as our English teacher yes. and our music teacher. Music teacher okay. And uh, he took over and started winning mm -hmm. right after my mom and for many years while he was teaching and uh, I became part of the school choir. Oh, okay. So during my primary level, I was part of a big choir yeah. that would beat uh, every school within the region yes. and go to Kampala to compete nationally. Okay. And so because I saw the beauty in this makes me reach places. Yes. Takes me to places, show, let me, you know, I, I start to enjoy and celebrate different cultures. Okay. I never sang after primary level okay. until when I finished advanced level of education yes. in Uganda. Okay. And I started as a duet with mm -hmm. my friend Rax Danny, who yeah. was also my producer and was also somebody I would sing with. Yes. We started by doing secular music and okay. mind you, we did a song called Miss You Lucky Dube because that was one of the first songs, the few first songs that we did. I think the first video, uh, I think very poor quality though, okay. in our hearts, okay. that was it. Like yeah. uh, did a tribute song and when we had the sad news of his demise yeah. and the state at which somebody would decide to do that. Yeah. It was until uh, 2008, the end of year, yeah. uh, I gave my life to Christ okay. and I became a very serious Christian with my life. Okay. Joined Watoto Church Choir, yes. and started singing in church. Then 2010, yes. I started recording gospel, gospel music, music. Okay. and that's how Polo Polo Yesolara came out. Came out. Okay. Yeah. So that was the and first. That song. was the, that was the second song. The first song was La Moin Paye. So I never did a video for it. Okay. But it played. It means Soldier of Jesus. Yes. And you know, coming from a military back um, um, community where you know the wars are going on. Yes. Even the pictures we drew are uh, of guns and guns and, 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 and yeah. So okay. songs, I think <laughs> that so inspired how even the toys, uh, right? Uh, yes. Even now, yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, okay. we, we wanted this, uh, military cars. Yes. Uh, we didn't see love in anything. Okay. Actually, even Swahili language, okay, Swahili, mm -hmm. to us it was a military language. It okay. was for ordering people yeah. to do things. I, yeah. I never thought I love you could be said in Swahili. <laughs> okay. You know, all I knew was Tam 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 Lizu. Tam Lizu. Yes. Pandagari. Yes. Uh, uh, it's mama. Yes. Hey, so I thought it was very rude. Yeah. Until I think when I got to Kampala and realized people coming from Kenya yeah. uh, would even vibe using Swahili. Swahili, yeah. And I said, hey, <laughs> so this is it. Yeah. You know. 
Swahili is a beautiful language. It um, is. Uh, having gone to Kenya schools and grew up in Kenya and all that, I think is the way to go for Africa. Don't you think yep. so? Yep. If we are to achieve unity, mm -hmm. uh, united Africa, yes, we need one language, yeah, one currency. Mm -hmm. Or maybe just yeah, one currency or something very close to each other yes. that is acceptable in every state in Africa. Mm -hmm. And I believe yeah, our language Swahili would do us a wonderful. great day. Yes. Yeah. Your songs are in in Luo, and in I English. know you sing English. Yeah. In Peromo, you you did a little English. bit of Lingala, Lingala yes. right? Uh, yes. Swahili is there. Yeah. We in the diaspora have yeah. a problem with the children. Most of them do not speak our languages or they don't want to speak the language I've or they don't it. see the value in it. I have noticed. What would you tell parents out there about, because your your, your songs, then they miss out on the messages. African yeah. languages have lots of wisdom yeah. and proverbs. Yeah. Are they not missing out on it? They language? are missing out. Yes. It breaks my heart that I find our own children here who don't speak our native languages yes. back in Africa. Mm -hmm. And I, I don't want to blame the parents because I know you have five jobs, four jobs, three jobs, two jobs, and you don't even have time. Yes. And sometimes you work day. Sometimes instead of working day, you work well, night nice. and the kids yeah. are yeah. in school during the day. Yes. And so I think we need to find a way mm -hmm. of investing yes. In the people back home, yes, and do maybe online studies, okay, and start awarding our children mm -hmm. for speaking, for writing in our own languages, okay, just for sustainability. We mm -hmm. don't want vanish from the face of the earth, yes. And I think it's possible if we continue to embrace all the other languages and cultures, yes, and live our own. Yeah, there is a reason as to why mm -hmm. I am Luo. There is something specific why I was born in that specific family yes. at a specific time yes. and a specific tribe. Yes. There must be something I will only achieve because I am that person. Yeah. And so I would encourage us to find ways, different ways mm -hmm. for us to learn. Okay. If it means rec having recorded words and you come back and evaluate them mm -hmm. and speak to them. You yeah. can never learn without speaking. Yeah. And then allow them make mistakes and then yeah, yeah. encourage them. That, that's actually one of the things that inspired me mm. as a writer uh, and pushed me even to establish a publishing gig. Mm. Because you, you would write your manuscript as a writer, uh, you send it to the publisher, they'll say, no, no, we don't publish this kind of books. So I ended up pushing for my own books. So I have um, books out there that teachers can use in my language, Kakwa, that wow. th th those who wow. want to teach their children can. I encourage other people out there, you, if you can write, please do. The importance of books cannot be overstated. Of know? course. That's though, 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 yeah, our cultures are oral, so sometimes in through this ear, yeah. out through the other. So yeah. if it's documented, it goes very far. I'll encourage you to do. I have um, a blank book. Wow. I, I don't know if you've written a book before. I have never written you've, a you've book before. You've, you've never written a book. I'm praying and hoping that you do write. You, you can write your title up here and then r write written by Odong Romeo Wilbert so that, you know, slowly you can put your thoughts in there. And at the back, you can also put Media House Publishing Canada. I'm hoping I can publish your first book. Wow. Wow. Title. Wow. What, what would be the title of your book if you are to write one about your life, about the journey of Odong Romeo Wilbert? Perfect title, I believe. Please write your name down there. Written by or by Odong. Please well, keep keep this blank book. You can open inside. This is very blank. There's nothing there. Oh my goodness! Right? What a challenge this you, is. It, it it put your thoughts down, and I'm looking forward to getting that manuscript from you. Right? Someday. Please don't give me a timeline. <laughs> no, 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 no Thank timeline. You. Take your time. I know you're a busy man, so I'll, I'll not push you that far. Thank you. Now, th this this is Lotole the Rabbit and the Pot of uh, Porridge mm. by myself. So published under Media House Publishing Canada too. I would like to give it please, to you please, for your children please. so they can write that would be awesome. and, and read. Um, that would be awesome. Yes. I'm yeah. working on the second one, hopefully when it comes out. I'll send you a copy. Lotole is a trickster character from the Bari Kakua people. Is there a trickster character in the 
in the choli? Yeah. A rabbit? What's the name? Uh, Afoyo. Afoyo. Yeah. Okay. Almost like Apoyo. Thing. Yes, Apoyo, yes. Yeah, okay. Apoyo, okay. Apoyo, Apoyo. Okay. It's written Apoyo, but yes. we'll say Apoyo. Yeah. Okay. And and this one, because you, you continue to inspire us, this this is a... Please sign it. Okay. okay. I would be very... It, I, I didn't publish this Please, one. Please, yes. You, 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 have, you have given it to me. Okay. And so... Yes, okay. Yeah. This is the value of uh, traveling places. Yeah. And meeting new people. Yeah. And you're blessed. Yeah. So, am I also allowed to ask a question? Go ahead. Ah, are you married? <laughs> yes, I am. I am married. I have um, three children. Wow. The little Thank one you. is uh, almost turning three. Yes. Uh, the, the oldest is junior. And after that, there's a girl. We call her Mamina. A uh, big difference between them. Yeah. But yeah, I have only one wife too. And I, I pray God keeps me on this earth and I stay like that. I, I don't like the left, right and center of doing because, things. you know, I things know. don't pan out well. Yeah. I grew up as an orphan. Um, I know the pain of not being with your father and your it's mother. Exactly. So I'm going to be there for my kids. Yeah. Because that's, that's exactly being with an absent father. I'm like, I need to give my time. Giving what you don't have, yeah. it is a big challenge yeah. that you learn to try to pass something to your children. Mm -hmm. which was not given to you by your own father yeah it, it's 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 really challenging yeah you have to consult books you have to consult internet you yes um, so so much yeah let, let's go back a little bit into, yes. into music if you don't mind yeah i don't your music uh comes with a diversity of languages and genres yeah these particular three songs i've chosen out and i would like you to maybe tell us about the style of yeah. music in it and then the meaning of the song yeah anger Matuera. Anga Matuera. Anga Matuera. Yes. Anga Matuera is a Lukeme. Mm -hmm. uh, I will call it a Ije. Okay. Anga Matuera literally translates to mm -hmm. who can stop me? Okay. Who can manage me? Yes. Because I, I come from now a Christian foundation. Yes. When you have Christ, when you have the Holy Spirit, yes, it's not easy for anyone to take you down. Yeah, because the, everything that transpires in the in the physical, yeah, has its origin in the in the spiritual, in the, in the supernatural. Spirit. Yes, and so once that is sorted, yes. you're covered. You see, when Job, when the devil came to God, the Bible says that God was bragging with with Job. He says, "Have you noticed? Yeah, my my, my, servant, my son, my servant, my son, Job. Yes, it's like." Why won't he serve you mm -hmm. when there is a, a wall of protection around, around him? He has yeah. every reason to yes. do this. Yes. If you could just let me in yeah. and I deal with this, your servant, your so-called son, mm -hmm. your so-called Mr. Faithful, yes. then you will know whether he still cares about you. Mm -hmm. that much. And because of that, I think God, I would not say it was not, it was not fair. Yeah. He, he unfairly released yeah. the wall of protection. Yeah. So that the, the devil he says, but don't hurt him. Yeah. Like, oh, let me deal with the properties that he has. Yes. And surely he did that and he never wavered. Mm -hmm. So once you know that there is a wall of protection around you, yes. surely nobody can handle you. Mm -hmm. And the lyrics literally talks of the superior nature of my kind of protection. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, and, and then La 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 Na Yesu. La La Na Yesu, my savior is Jesus. My savior is Jesus. Yes, okay. I have seen it through yeah. the journeys. Right from birth, yeah. the first two died. Yes. I refused to, I would not say, I guess I brag now that I yeah. refused to yeah. die. Yeah. But somebody was right there with me. Yeah. Said, oh, we're, no, we're, we're more than purpose. glad you're there. Yes, he has a purpose. Yeah. He has a reason to be yeah. alive. Yeah. And so he saved me right from birth. Mm -hmm. And the Bible says, I knew you before you were formed inside your mother's womb. Yeah, so Lalana Nye Yesu, my savior is called Jesus. Yes. And um, I take it personally. It's it's my where my confidence comes from. Okay. And it's just a testimony of what God has done. Yeah, and what's the style in it? The style in it is La Kubu Kubu. La Kubu Kubu. Okay. Yes. Yeah. La Kubu Kubu is a fusion of Aije yes. and La Raga Raga. Okay. Yes. Okay. Yeah. And is, La Raga Raga is the, 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 the traditional. In Yolen? Yes, in the, yes, it's a in style Yolen. in Yolen, okay. which is also La Kubu Kubu. Okay. How about Kabedo Mot? Yeah, Kabedo Mot is also Aije, like Anga Atwara. Oh, yeah, like. It's okay. also Aije, like okay. Anga Atwara. We play the thumb pianos. Yeah. Kabedo Mot, yeah, yeah, with that slow beat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Okay. That's, okay. Which is also still, they all fall under Afro beat, yes. African beats. Yeah, Peromo yeah. and all those. Yes. Okay. Um, 
I, I have this segment. I call yeah. it three questions. Yeah. Okay. Because you are Christian, yeah. I have three questions for you from the Bible. Okay. If that's okay, I'll not wow. pull a teacher and pamire on you. Wow. You know. That's a big one. <laughs> so I'll go very quick. Yeah. Uh, in the book of Daniel. Yes. Uh, there's four people who are seen in the fire. Yeah. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Abednego. Who was the last one? The last one was an angel. Okay. Yeah. You got it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Number two. Yeah. Uh, do you know the story of Naaman the Syrian? Naaman the Syrian. Yes. The the person who came to Elisha to 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 go dip yourself in yes, the river. Yes. Yes, I do. Yes, I yes. do. Now, a uh, prophet Elisha had a servant. So when Naaman went, after being cleaned and all that, and he was you know healed, the servant ran. And, and, and went and met and say, hey, the master that, or whatever, yes. give me something small. Do you remember his name? I don't remember his name, but okay. I know he was very corrupt. He took okay. them what the prophet said, yeah, yeah. I'm not taking from you. Yeah. And he was hit back yeah. by the, 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 same, same disease, yes, yeah. the same disease. He took was, silver and um, some clothes. Yes, yes. Uh, Gehazi, that's what they call it here, but oh, Africans call word. it Gehazi. Yes, Gehazi, yes. Yeah, yes yeah. Okay, number three. Who led the Israelites into the promised land? Um, Joshua. Okay, you you know your Bible. Oh that my so. word! <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, um, I, I think I, I did a, a bit of New Testament, but it's okay. Three is already done. Yeah. Now this segment is called uh, Rapid Fire. Ooh. Okay. Don't worry. It's it's not. It's either or. So okay. iPhone or Android. Android. Right. Okay. Okay. Uh, boxing or football. Oh my goodness. Okay, football. <laughs> I know you're a boxer, right? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, and okay, so it's a physical sport that yeah. also hurts a lot. Okay. Yes. In football, is is it Manu or Arsenal? I would say Arsenal. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Thank you very much. You're welcome. We, we are all there. For football. Yes, yes, we are all there. Yes. Headphones or speaker? <laughs> speaker. Okay, oh, okay, okay, okay. I want to share. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <sighs> you, you, you are kind-hearted. <sighs> music or movies? Music. Okay. Music. Okay. Now, there's a lot going on in Israel, Palestine this yeah. time. Yeah. Uh, what, what message do you think that brings out into the world, or would you tell them to, you know, about the situation? I think they should recognize that life is given by God. Okay. And no one has the right to take life. Mm -hmm. And I think a round table is the best option for both of them. Yeah. That if they can come and agree, yes. I think everyone will die and leave land behind. We need them. We all we need all of them. Yeah. yeah. Uh, the little boys and girls out there, or the young men, or the families, the grandmothers out there who listen and watch your songs. Yeah. Um, what would you want to tell them as a parting shot? It's not about me, it's about uh, the King of Kings, it's about the Lord of Lords. Yeah. As you listen to my songs, yeah. remember, I also have weaknesses, I can fail you, but the God I serve will not fail you. Believe in God, yeah. uh, give your life, surrender it to God, yeah. and so that you can achieve your full potential in yeah. whatever field He created you for. Okay. Find your purposes from the source. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I know as a parting shot to uh, I didn't give you the book. Yeah. Um, you know, because there's an African proverb that says, uh, until the lions can tell their story, the story of the hunt will only glorify the hunter. Yeah. So an African stories are often not out there. You know, yeah. you come out here, they think Africa African people live in huts and the, in the jungle yes. and all that. So I encourage you to, 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 to work on that manuscript. Wow. Work on your story. Hopefully wow. it will be out there. It will inspire many people. Wow. You know, there are those who may not be listening to songs yeah. or watching videos. They love books. So it will get into their hands somehow. Please. Yes. I really take this time. Yeah. To thank you so much. It's been a great pleasure. Um, you are a blessing to us. Uh, please continue in the same. Thank you. And do pass our greetings to the family yes, and to the people you. of Gulu. Yes. Uganda, everybody out there. Yeah. We are trying in the diaspora. They should not also quit on us. One thing I, right. I noticed is actually you you guys, there's no tree where you pluck the money from. Yes. Because we just thought in Africa yeah. that you back in Africa, we thought you people out here yes. float and sleep in money, <laughs> on money. Yes. It's you actually very lazy. You're not going to the tree. Yes. And you're not watering it very much, very yeah. well. Yeah. And you're holding on to every money that you have been collecting from yes. those trees. Yes. But actually, you just have too many jobs. Okay. You don't even have time for yourselves. And then there's too much bills that yeah. you guys pay yeah so out there yeah 
if you have a brother or a sister in diaspora and they are trying and they are giving you something mm-hmm. please be faithful mm-hmm. if they want you to buy the plot of land please buy it mm-hmm. Uh, if they want you to help them build something at home, please build for real. Okay. Don't use the money to show off and marry mm-hmm. other wives and disappoint them because they are really, really, really doing hard labor here. Mm-hmm. It doesn't matter. Mm-hmm. They're really doing hard jobs and they're paying so many bills. Mm-hmm. Let's help them yeah. by being faithful, yeah. available and teachable. Yeah. Again, I thank you, my brother Odong for you know taking your time to sit down with us you are a blessing like i said again um if people want to reach out to you promoters yeah, fans yeah. how can they reach out to you um one my tiktok account is on my whatsapp okay uh, i have two whatsapp numbers okay. yes uh plus two five six yes seven eight three okay seven seven eight four okay seven two that's a ugandan line yes. my canadian line is plus one four one six four one seven four seven twenty four okay yes, yes. very easy uh whatsapp it's the same uh on facebook romeo dong or dong romeo yes you'll just see your name my name and uh the post then yes. you'll know because there are people who create copies of that yes, as well yes, so yes, yes. and youtube youtube yes romeo or dong romeo okay yes okay it's it's been a great pleasure thank the, you this this has been the sit down with me they say please go out there and like and share uh we look forward to sharing more stories with you like this thank you again brother Odo. you're welcome yeah god bless you you're god bless you amen too. yeah thank you amen yeah Alpha and Omega. new song